Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry and the new City Council were sworn in this morning at the Convention Center. As Esme Murphy reports, the mayor and new leaders are promising a Minneapolis comeback following a crime and health crisis. The ceremony was briefly delayed when nearly everyone, elected officials and their guests, had to take a rapid COVID test upstairs in the Convention Center. That's because tests most people took on Thursday had not come back yet. In his inaugural speech, the mayor acknowledged the impact of the last two years. The murder of George Floyd and the global racial reckoning that followed rocked our city to the core. And we all have been forever changed. Minneapolis is coming back. Will it be difficult? Yes, it will. But we are up to the challenge. Seven of the 13 council members are new. A majority are now people of color. Members unanimously elected council member Andrea Jenkins as council president. It's an incredible honor. I'm, I'm really deeply humbled. Jenkins represents the ward where George Floyd was murdered. While she has supported the defund the police movement, she also has a history of working with all sides. I really believe that we have an opportunity to, to turn things around and I'm uh, thrilled to be in in a role to play, you know, to help shape and, and, and drive that. Jenkins is also the first transgender council president in city history, and she hopes she can serve as an example for all people who may be struggling. As May Murphy, WCCO 4 News. The city council also elected Linnea Palmazano as vice president. Political analysts say that indicates the uh, this council may be more moderate than the one before it.